In this video, we'll walk through everything a super user needs to know in order to set up and customize performance management in their organization. Performance management in Prof.co allows an organization's management to assess and review its employees with a series of review options, such as self-assessments, manager reviews, and 360-degree peer assessments. Let's take a look at settings, performance, to see what aspects of a performance review can be customized in Prof.co. The first feature is competencies. Here, you can enable competency groups to group together skills that certain positions, departments, or seniority levels should be evaluated on. You can also add new competencies. In the form, simply add a competency or skill name, description, and the individuals in an organization that can rate these competencies for other users. For example, if the competency is quality of work, it should be rated by managers rather than peers. The next feature is HR status. Under performance, HR status, you can see the statuses for performance reviews, either initiated or closed. Under ratings, you can see different rating levels. Ratings are used to assess competencies for individual employees. To add a new rating level, select create. You can enable and disable ratings as needed, as well as edit them. You can also enable highlighting. This feature means that when a manager's rating is the same as an employee's self-assessment rating, the competency is highlighted. Under rating groups, you can create categories to sort your ratings into. These rating groups can be associated with certain seniority levels, departments, or job titles to more easily evaluate employee skills. This way, you can have multiple rating scales that you can easily access and apply to certain performance reviews. Next, take a look at Settings, Performance, Reviews. On this page, you'll see a Review Type section where you can enable or disable affinity-based reviews and conversation and feedback-based reviews. You can customize each of these reviews in the Questions Builder. You can also enable a review summary builder, which allows you to choose how you would like to see the results of the performance review once it's complete. Under the OKR section, you can choose if you would like to show OKRs during performance reviews for view only or to include OKRs in a performance review for assessment. Under the performance review process, you can enable certain aspects of the performance review process. Next, you can add HR initiators. All employees under this search box have the option to initiate reviews and access review responses. You can also enable features to use previous reviews as the starting point for a new review, enable HR comments, and show the review history on a live review. Under the heading Review Summary Information, you can enable specific features that HR administrators can view at the end of their review. The last section on this page is for affinity levels. These are the levels that peer reviewers can choose from to show how closely they work with a reviewed employee. Next is the Incentive Workbench function. In this section, you can set up incentive allocations for departments and functions. These can be enabled and disabled as needed. Next, take a look at Settings, Performance, Bell Curve. This setting section allows you to enable a bell curve distribution for performance reviews to help visualize your company or department's performance levels on a curve. This shows how your employee's performance is distributed on a range from outstanding performance to ineffective. You can also create collaboration groups, which help you visualize the performance distribution of a limited number of employees that you select. Under Proficiency Level, you can create, enable, and disable different levels to assign to your competencies. When you associate competencies or competency groups to certain positions, like a C-level executive, VP, or manager, you can specify what proficiency level a user should be at with a certain competency. 
For example, I need my C-level executives to have a leading proficiency level with their communication skills, but I can accept that managers only have an advanced proficiency level for the same competency. In Settings, Performance, Goals, you'll find all the controls for the Goals feature, which allows users to set, assign, and update goals for professional development or targets related to their OKRs. The entire Goals process is outlined in another video. Scoring buckets enable super users to control what's evaluated on a performance review and how much each component of a performance review contributes to a user's overall performance score. You have three options for performance reviews, goals, competencies, and OKRs. You can enable or disable any of these components or redistribute the weightage for each component depending on what you think is most important to evaluate in your employee's performance. For example, if you think that skill evaluation or competencies is a better reflection of your employee's performance than the progress they've made on their goals, you can distribute the weight to reflect that. Next is nine box matrices. In this section of the settings, you can customize a nine box matrix to suit the needs of your organization. The standard nine box matrix comes preloaded with averages for each performance and potential score. However, you as a super user can create new parameters for the nine box matrix and name the categories to reflect what performance and potential values mean to your organization. The succession and development section of the performance management settings allows you to customize IDPs or individual development plans, PIPs or performance improvement plans, as well as potential assessments for performance evaluations. Enable these features and customize the plans to suit the needs of your employees. You can also customize potential ratings to ensure that the full capabilities of your employees are captured during a performance review. Performance ranking is used to show the rank of individuals based on their individual performance score in the performance reviews. Based on an employee's performance score at the end of their review, they'll have one of these performance rankings. Statuses show what point in the performance management process a review is at. As you can see, the statuses are self-assessment, 360 assessment, manager employee review, completed, incomplete auto-close, and secondary reviewer assessment. These statuses will show up next to active performance reviews to let HR administrators know how far along each review is. Finally, under reports, you can create new reports and manage existing reports. You can customize reviews to show the information you find most relevant to easily compare employee performance and get an overview of certain teams, departments, or even the company as a whole. For more information, visit our Help Center, and don't forget we're available 24-7 on our live support chat right on your Profit.co platform.